Hi, my name is Patrick Carr, and I'm going to be doing the social control theory uh, developed by Travis Hershey in the 1960s. Um, this theory says that ties to family, school, and social lessons someone likelihood to engage in deviant behavior. Um, this theory reason that crimes occur when these are tied or not created or broken. Um, Basically, being a leader and a follower. So if you follow, sometimes you're more likely going to do something negative as far as positive, depending on the situation. Um, uh, this theory asks why people don't offend as opposed to asking why people don't. People are people are deviant. Uh, I mean, if your moral codes are established, then people don't have as much desire to break those codes and act out. Um, some people go to church and often have a higher power than established as set of morals and values for them. Falling and may be less than likely to engage in deviant behavior. So some people are, for example, some people are, you know, they take religion seriously and, you know, some feel like they're better than others just because they feel like they're doing the right thing. Um, and it be caught, it caused them to act, say they act better than them just because they're not participating in the behavior that's uh, frowned upon them. Um, also, too, uh, people resist impulsive commitment crimes because it's a huge cost in individual, especially uh, the uh it disappoint excuse me it disappoint loved ones so you know um going out there being a bonehead or a knucklehead it's <laughs> it's only gonna just not just hurt you but it's gonna hurt your family as well emotionally and financially sometimes just depending on the situation um also use attachments as a um use attachments to schools as a predictive del delinquency um, students who like school, care about school, um, you know, care about their teacher's opinion, are less likely to be delinquent. Um, we can see some truth, in fact, that it may, that, in fact, that uh, many crimes are uh, committed by uh, single-parent homes, um, lower-class, you know, um, it's seen... Um, for these people, it may seem like, uh, much to them because it's sometimes it's the way of life to them. You know, committing a crime is nothing to them because, you know, that's how sometimes they eat, you know, uh, and that's how they make a living, you know, how they make money versus like getting a job. Some people just find it's an easy way to commit a crime and, um, you know, make their life harder, but they don't see it that way. You know, they just see it as in like. That's their social norm. That's what they've always been around. So they're going to, you know, reflect the actions that they've seen. So, yeah, that's my, that's the theory, the social control theory. Uh, that's it.